Assalamualaikum and good day everyone In this video, we will learn chapter 4 Kinematic of rigid body planar motion Lesson outcome Upon completion of the chapter Student should be able to Analyze the kinematic of a rigid body Undergoing planar translation or rotation About a fixed axis Next, student should be able to describe the velocity and acceleration of a rigid body in terms of translation and rotation component. Next, student should be able to perform a relative motion, velocity and acceleration analysis of a point on the body. And lastly, student should be able to locate the instantaneous center of zero velocity and use the instantaneous center to determine the velocity of any point on a rigid body in general plane motion. Okay, next chapter's content. Okay, we have three subtopic. Okay, in this chapter, first, planar rigid body motion. Second, relative motion analysis, velocity and acceleration. And last topic is instantaneous center of zero velocity. Okay, so, in this video, we will learn subtopic number one, planar rigid body motion. Okay, next, let's do a review. Okay, we have learned before this what is kinematics. So, the kinematics is... Study of motion without considering the forces that cause the motion. Okay, and starting from chapter 4, we will learn about rigid body. Okay, so what is rigid body? Rigid body is the combination of particles. Okay, next, let's see uh, what is the application. Okay, example of application in industry. Is the 3D kinematic motion multiple axis uh, is robotic arm. Okay, as you can see uh, from the video, okay, from the industries visit, okay, you can see that there are so many robotic arm. Okay, robotic arm involve 3D kinematic motion. Okay. Okay, next example. Okay, multiple axis. So we have fixed point okay and then rotation at fixed point uh, we have also uh, translation curvilinear and general plane motion okay we will learn what is the general plane motion in this video okay another example okay next is 2d kinematic motion Okay, and then we have gear mechanism, okay, to transmit power. Okay, next, we move to subtopic 1, planar rigid body motion, okay. So, the content are 1 is the particle and rigid body, okay, we will learn how to calculate V and A. And all angular velocity and angular acceleration. Okay. Next, we will learn types of planar motion. Okay. First, translational motion. Next, rotational motion. And the third one is general plane motion. Okay. Let's see the comparison between particle and rigid body okay particle has one point where rigid body member has two points okay so remember rigid body has two point okay first particle act as a point okay but rigid body act as a member okay where size and shape are considered Okay, so look at the picture. Okay, particle at point A and point B. 
Okay, the rigid body is AB. Okay, link AB is the rigid body. Okay, next, develop the relationship governing the displacement, velocity and acceleration of points as they move along straight or curved path. Okay, where in rigid body involve both linear and angular displacement, velocity and acceleration. Okay. So, in rigid body, involve both. Okay, please understand. Next, particle is absolute motion where rigid body is really relative motion. So, in rigid body, we will practicing to find VBA, VAC, okay, relative motion. Angular velocity of BA Sorry, angular acceleration This is angular velocity Okay When, when you learn particle Okay, kinematic of particle You only find VA, VB, AA and AB Okay Next, types of planar motion. Okay, types of planar motion. First is translational motion. Okay, translational motion. No rotation of any line in the body. So as you can see in the table, okay. Rigid body AB move to A prime and B prime in linear. Let's make a rectilinear transition. Okay, this type of motion occurs when a line in the body remains parallel. Okay, remains parallel to its original orientation throughout the motion. When all points move along straight line, okay, the motion is called rectilinear translation, like this. When the path of motion are curved lines, the motion is called curvilinear translation, as you can see at row B. Okay. The example of rectilinear is the rocket Tesla and the example for curvilinear is parallel link swinging plate. Okay. Next type is the rotation about fixed axis motion. Okay. So all particles move in circular path at axis of rotation and all lines perpendicular to the axis of rotation rotate through the same angle. Okay, so fix rotation. So of course, there will be a fixed point. Okay. And next motion is general planar motion. Okay, GPM is the combination of translation and rotation. Okay. For example, as you can see from the column number 3, row number 3, okay. So, this is the translation. Okay, translation because pop A move to the right and left. And there is the rotation. Okay, rotation here. At fixed as this. So please remember that GPM is the combination of translation and rotation about a fixed axis. Okay, next types of planar motion. Okay. In a system, 
Okay, in a system body, they have a combination of motion. Okay, like you, you can see from the figure. Okay. An example of bodies undergoing the three types of motion is shown in this mechanism. Okay, so in this mechanism, there are three types of motion. Okay, first, the wheel and crank undergo rotation about a fixed axis. Okay, because it has fixed point. In this case, both axes of rotation are at the location of the pins. Okay, pin. And perpendicular to the plane of figure. Next, the piston undergoes rectilinear translation since it is constrained to slide in a straight line okay so as you can see here piston is moved to the left and moved to the right in a straight line so it is rectilinear translation okay next the connecting road undergoes Curvilinear translation since it will remain horizontal as it moves along a circular path. Okay, so the connecting road is more curvilinear. Okay, you need to imagine that the road is more like this as it moves. Okay. The connecting road undergoes general plane motion as it will both translate and rotate. Okay. Next. Okay. Translation and motion, linear motion of the car. Okay. So the curve itself move in linear. Okay, so we call it rectilinear motion, and the kite is curvilinear motion. Next, rotation about fixed axis, or we call it rafa. Okay. So, of course, it have a fixed axis like Ferris wheel and bicycle wheel. Next, general plane motion. Okay. Connecting road is moving in general plane motion. Why? Because the crankshaft is rotation at fixed axis and piston is moving rectilinear translation okay so the connecting road is moving in gpm okay so, it is the image of rotation about fixed axis. And the slider is moving translational. And the connecting road is GPM. Okay, next. The slider is moving translational. Okay. And then 
protection about free as this here and the road is GPM okay, next example okay so the grey one is fixed Okay, and red, red is rotation about fixed axis. Okay. And blue one, curve linear translation motion. And link AB, sorry, link green is the GPM. Yes, and goes to this image, this slider. There. Next. Okay. Next video. I will show you the formula involved in translational motion, rotation of fixed axis, and also general plane motion. Okay, so thank you for watching and Assalamualaikum.